Welcome to City Bricks. This is my Lego city that I've been working on, and I've just about got everything lit up. Except for this cottage over here. So I'm going to try and get that lit up this episode. But before I get to that, I did get a package, so I'm going to check that out first. Now these packages do take a while to get here from Lego, but this looks like a big bag, and I want to get it sorted. It looks like I got a bunch of minifigure torsos so I can populate the city, as well as a bunch of printed tiles so I can finish off my alleyway. This is the alleyway that I've been working on, and that's where it's going to be placed. I really like how it's turning out, but I finally got some pieces in so I can make some amendments to this middle section, as well as get it populated with some minifigures. So let me get that extracted. I have started making some amendments to this alleyway. I took out that curved window and I'm thinking of some other options I can put in its place. I want to get this place populated, but here's a good look at the before. So I've added a bit more lights, one of them to this TV and one below. And then I also added one above the door right up here. I'm trying to figure out what I should put in this gap over here. And I'm working on this kind of stand where I might put a salesman underneath. But with all this lighting, the wire management in the back is getting crazy. And here's a good look at the back. The wire management's looking pretty hectic, but that's because I have over 20 LEDs in this mock, which is the most I've used so far. I have everything connected with three of these ports and one USB. And it's finally finished. This project's taken me a very long time waiting on some parts. But I've added some details here. I've added a bunch of minifigures, some workers, a guy leaving the club, a few people looking out through the top, and I just love how it's coming together. So let me get this placed into the city. And so I've decided to add it right back here behind this gas station and pet shop, and I just love some of the minifigure poses and some of the details I've added. I also like how you can see it in between all these buildings. I think it just adds a bunch more of depth to the city. And then this is probably my favorite view right here, where you can just see all the way down till the end. I like how the signs pop out. Let me know what you think. And then I've also added lights to this cottage. So now everything in the city is lit up. And this is probably going to be what I work on next, covering up those wires and my forestry area. And I lied. I think I'm actually going to turn my attention over here and start tiling off this area, adding some stairs to cover up that white space, as well as populating it with some minifigures. So here's a good look at it before. Let's get to an after. For the after, I tiled everything off in dark tan tiles. And I mainly did that for those stairs. I really like how it turned out, and I just had a bunch of dark tan jumper plates. Now I also like the alley that veers off to the left because I think it just adds a bunch more depth to the city. And then I added a few minifigures and scenes like that shopping cart down there just to make it look a little more run down. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this update. I'm sorry it was a bit shorter, but life's just been getting a bit busy. I just had my first kid and so priorities are changing a little bit. However, I still plan on making a whole lot of Lego content. So if you want to see where the city's going to be at, make sure to subscribe and follow down below. I'm definitely going to keep you all updated. So until next time, you all have a great one.